A uh, movie is coming to life, kind of, thanks to a new virtual experience you can have from the comfort of your home. Imagine a brand new aquarium where you can sleep in an underwater hotel and see underwater exhibits with creatures that have been extinct for hundreds of thousands of years. That's the concept behind Sea Monster Cove. Take a look. You can watch them from the safety of an observation deck. Or, for the ultimate experience, we'll serve you up in a cage and lower you into their domain, where you can get better acquainted. Oh man, that gives me thalassophobia. Joining us now is Steve Alton, the author of the New York Times bestseller, The Meg. You may have seen that movie, the ad adaptation. He is the creator of Sea Monster Cove. Hey, thanks for being with us, Steve. Thank you for having me. Uh, first and foremost, uh, what, what was your take on the movie version of The Meg? I loved it. I thought it was great. It was a little different from the book, but they, I thought they did a good job. All right. Your, like I said, book was turned into a blockbuster. That was Jason Statham in the starring role. How did that influence you to create Sea Monster Cove, if at all? Well, the one part that I wasn't involved in with the movie is, is uh, actually the, the uh, final script that was used in, in producing it. And, and you know, I, I feel like that's what I want to get involved in. So um, Sea Monster Cove came from a, a brand new idea for a giant shark prehistoric sea monster feature. I didn't want to make it a book. I wanted to make it something that was real, that, that was a virtual place that you could go to, you know, a couple hours a day to blow off some steam and deal with the stress that we're dealing with from a pandemic. And, and um, uh, I was able to get people to work with me who were fans of Meg and who wanted to contribute some amazing animators, some amazing storyboard artists and producers. And uh, so we got... It's sort of a new form of entertainment because we're combining actual virtual visits to a futuristic aquarium with a web TV show that I'm producing, along with a video game and even a cartoon we're working on. You know, I remember, like, uh, I want to say it's probably been a good 20 years, 21 years ago. I went to uh, Universal out there in, in California, and they had a Terminator ride where the seats rumbled and, you know, there would be mist in your face and there was smoke and it was in 3D. Uh, what about a sensory experience of something like this? Well, let me give you an example. I'm just going to take the screen for a second. Bear with me. All right. And one of the things you can do is we'll pat actually put you in a cage. We'll lower you into one of these environments in a cage, and, and you could uh, enjoy that experience here. Get the full screen. There we go. Now, can you uh, yeah. can you tailor the content? I mean, is there a level of scariness to the that you can choose, like PG PG thirteen, PG seventeen, whatever? There is, yes, but um, most of it's about PG seventeen, um, PG thirteen rather, except for the uh, web TV series, which will give you two different options: PG thirteen or seventeen. But it, this is a three D experience, a three sixty experience where I control. What I'm looking at is a face which is from uh, the uh, Devonian era about 380 million years ago. That is freaky right there. We're looking at the shark coming they up to the cage. You're in there. I have a theory. Uh, producer Jay's in the booth. I have a theory about what's going on here. He, he pulled up that video on his Wi-Fi, and that caused his signal to... to uh, go down, so that's why we're not having a hard or uh, we're having a hard time hearing him. Uh, if you're still there, Steve, how can people sign on to visit Sea Monster Cove? Well, they can go to www.seamonstercove.com and uh, enter the site. It's actually less than what a movie ticket cost, and um, there's a lot to there's a lot to do there. There's even a, a private library of all my uh, books that have been enhanced. And um, we also have a curator on the scene uh, who can discuss things with you. We have um, a video game, like I yeah. mentioned, and the web TV series will start next month. Steve, thank you so much for the time this morning. Thank you. All right.